Okay, so I want to talk about determining slope and y-intercept. Um, we have a lot of information here. Um, if you want to read all this, that's fine. They gave us some points, and they asked us to find slope. We know of a couple of ways to find slope. We can use rise over run. We can put these two points in our calculator. Um, but there's another way to find slope. Um, if you remember it from seventh grade, it is to take y2 minus y1 and put it over x2 minus x1. Okay, so if I'm looking at these two points, I need to define, need to decide which one of these is going to be 1 and which one's going to be 2. Personally, I'm going to make these 2 because they're bigger, and if I'm subtracting, I don't want to have to subtract negative numbers. So if I look at this one, my y2 is going to be this 4, so I'm going to say 4 minus my y1 is going to be 2 over my x2 is going to be 4 minus my x1, which is going to be 3. Okay, now that we have those set up, we can subtract and we can say 4 minus 2 is 2. 4 minus 3 is 1, and that is just going to equal a slope of 2. So I'm going to write in my slope here, but I want to go check it. I want to use rise over run just to make sure that I'm correct. Okay, I'm going to use these two points. And I saw something yesterday that um, might help you when you're doing rise over run. If I look here, I rise 2. So I'm going to write a 2 out here because I rise 2. And I run 1. And then I'm just going to put my rise over my run. 2 over 1, which equals 2. And that is the same as what we found with our formula. So I'm going to leave it like that. I do not care which way you use, which way you choose to go. Um, choose the easiest way for you. As long as we get to the correct answer, it's, it's fine. Okay. Um, now I need to know my y-intercept. That's the easiest part. Remember, I know this line doesn't go all the way through, but my y-intercept is sitting right here at negative 4. Okay, let's try a couple. Let's look at this, and we need to find the slope and the y-intercept. Okay, y-intercept. That's the easiest thing to find. I want you to go ahead and do that first. My y-intercept is where this line crosses, and it is sitting right here at 3. I'm going to put a point there because I'm actually going to use that as the point um, for finding rise over run. Um, I have another one right here. Remember, they have to be right in the cross street. I'm going to put my right triangle. I'm going to count up 1, 2. I'm going to count over 1. So rise over run is 2 over 1, or we can just say 2. Okay, I know this is going fast, but you can stop it, you can pause it, do what you need to do for the notes. Okay, if I look at this one, again, we're going to look at y-intercept first, and it's sitting right here at a positive 2. Then we're going to go find the slope. I don't see any lines that cross directly in between until I get right here. Okay, and I'm going to go rise over run. Now, on the other one, I just assumed that you knew it was a positive slope. This one is going downhill, so we know left to right. If it's going down, it's negative. I'm going to look at rise. One, two, and I'm going to run one, two, three. So I'm going to put my rise, which is two, over my run, which is three. So the slope of that line is negative two-thirds. If you have any questions, please come see me during tutoring.